Hey there, kids! It's me, Uncle Roadkill! And I have here with me the trigger box! You know what that means! We're going to see what the furry community is angry about this week! What is it gonna be this time? Oh, P.K. Russell did an oopsie! He said he doesn't like China! He doesn't like China because he's gay! He is a homosexual! He said that Chinas are gross! Free. Not only does this horrid crime make him a disgusting body shamer, it also makes him misogynistic and transphobic. For some reason. I see you there asking me, but Roadkill, how, how does a gay man not liking the female reproductive organ make him a body shaming, transphobic totalitarian who wants to keep down the matriarchy? Well, let's just ask the furries. Don't call vaginas disgusting! When are these people going to realize that putting clapping emojis in between your words on a tweet makes you look like a pretentious asshole? It's it, it, it's never good. Don't don't do this. It makes you look it makes you look like like a pretentious asshole. It's, you know, trans man exist and insulting genitals while assuming genitals equals gender is transphobic, right? I spelled it out for you anyway, but damn. Also, can I say that by openly stating that you think vaginas are gross and using dysphoria in trans folk, let's f, f them and hate it's their body. Ew, gross. F f uh, vaginas aren't something that only women have. It's like. D did he imply that, you know, w n never mind. It absolutely doesn't affect you that some people do like vaginas. What? He didn't say that either. He didn't, uh, um, how is your nose is gross or your body is ugly any different than vaginas are ugly or disgusting. I don't get this mentality. You know what I don't get? You already said why it's different. You said your nose is gross. Your body is ugly. And you said vaginas are ugly. He never said that your vagina is ugly. That's the difference. It's not he's not attacking someone personally. That's the difference. How you're a transphobic misogynistic dumbass. Ugh, anyway. This situation just proves to you that these people don't care about anyone. They have this imaginary hierarchy of imaginary oppression that they use to determine who to side with. They will completely turn on you if you say something that they consider to be offensive towards a group they see as more oppressed than yours. To prove my theory, I want to see a black trans person and a white trans person start some fake beef and then see how they will react. And I want to see who they will side with. Let's see if these people really are as shallow as I think they are. Well guys, I have a physics exam to study for, so yeah, please put the word China in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you next time. Maybe. Well,